Hey, what's going on YouTube? Black Bear Hunter coming at you again, and we're here to talk about Frangelic Mountain Brown. This beer is out of Founders Brewing, 9.9% uh, .9 ABV, um, Imperial Brown Ale, um, Founders out of uh, Michigan, right? Um I'm kind of feeling funny about this beer. Um, I kind of just want to get it out of my cabin. I was just going to pour it down the drain, but why not talk about it, right? Um, if anybody knows, if you actually uh, follow a lot of the uh, news inside of uh, the beer industry, uh, late last year, like maybe November, uh, founders settled the case. Uh, with uh, Tracy Evans, uh, a guy that worked for uh, Founders for like four years uh, over racial discrimination. Um, that happens, right? We all hear it. We all see it. We all run across racial discrimination on the job, right? Um, well, I know I do because I'm black. But... <laughs> At the end of the day, uh, Tracy Evans ran across uh, a group of winners. Um, I mean, you know, small tactics of even just like just juvenile stuff of naming the printer upstairs, the white printer and the printer downstairs, the black printer. Um, you know, um, you got the management that fired uh Tracy Evans saying that um saying that he didn't even know he was black then turned around and said he didn't know if Barack Obama was black and then they asked him if several other athletes and entertainers were black and he couldn't even say if Michael Jordan or just anybody that they mentioned was black he said he wasn't sure because he never met him what a fucking class act. So at the end of the day, I used to buy founders all the time, religiously, buy the case, you know, chasing down KBS. I used to drink their Imperial Stout. Um, man, um, I, I mean, I've been through a, a ton of ales with them, like a lot of dark ales. They made a really good beer. Um but I guess they were planning on selling off anyway. And to me, it feels like and tastes like their beer has fallen off. So at the end of the day, let's try out this Frangelic Mountain Brown. I mean, they have a couple other brown nails that they're pushing right now. Um, and this is just a long line of beers that they're pushing. But at the end of the day... Let's go ahead and uh, try this one out, right? So I can get this out of my cabinet. <laughs> so I can get this out of my stash. Uh, try trading the beers that I have left. I traded a few, actually. I've tried, probably traded like three or four cases of vintage um, KBS going all the way back as far as... Oh, maybe like 2010, 2012. Just got rid of it. Fuck it. Uh, so at the end of the day, there's a lot of other choices out there, you know? Um, yeah, there definitely are. So, <clears throat> like I said, let's go ahead and get a pour. See exactly what's going on here. See what they got. And let's talk some beer. That's all it's about, basically, at the end of the day, is we're about to talk some beer. So, ton of activity there. Much more than two fingers. Uh, nice khaki brown head. Um, if you look at it, small bubbles. It's a ton of small bubbles. It's extremely foamy. Um and it poured pretty, it looked pretty, uh, pretty thin, right? Um, you know, like, um, mild, like a mild brown color, uh, light passed right through it. So it's extremely translucent in the glass is kind of like a 
like a opaque dark brown. Um, but like I said, creamy looking. Um, I guess probably if you look at it, like now that the the head is receding, you can see the lacing on the back half kind of uh, kind of clinging to the glass. So it has pretty decent lacing. Um, nice creamy look, right? Um, <clears throat> so, I mean, this beer is not new. Um, it's been around for a while. Um, like I said, um, this is the newest iteration of it. I've had it before. It's been around since about 2012. Kind of sweet, kind of nutty. Um, I, like I said, I haven't had this years. This is my first, you know, crack at it. I think I found it for like a couple bucks. It was like three bucks or something like that. Um, yeah, I think I even got a fucking discount for this garbage. Um, so at the end of the day, um, yeah, I tr um, let's go ahead and check out the aromas. Uh, man. Why did they have to fuck up? I mean, it smells great. Ton, like right up in the nose, you get tons of malt, some coffee, that hazelnut, chocolate, slight hint of like vanilla. Oh man, it smells, it smells really good. And um, why'd you have to fuck up? So uh, I mean, the only thing we can do now is, is taste it. I mean, you see, like I said, you can see the lacing. It's receded a bit now. And uh, the lacing is, 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 is there. It's sticking to the glass. So let's go ahead and uh, taste this brew and see what they talk about. And be one more step closer to finishing my saga. With founders. Mm. Mm. The taste is exactly what you get in the nose. A ton of chocolate on the palate. Oh man, a ton of chocolate and malts. Chocolate malts on the palate. Hazelnut coffee comes through extremely smooth, no bitter taste on the back end. Uh, roasty coffee notes. Uh, yeah, it, I mean, if you get a little bit of bitterness, it's probably from the malts, maybe from the coffee, but um, the, the beer is like it's, it's a straightforward, um brown ale like you know american brown ale i mean you can't really say anything about bad about it it's a it's a really good ale i'm not even going to joke about it too bad i'm not going to buy it no more <laughs> like at the end of the day if you can't even do if you can't even treat a human as a human um and you try to dehumanize somebody just because this guy wants to work and live why should i buy anything from you really at the end of the day you can't even treat this man as a decent human being and i'm not saying respect him i'm not saying kiss his ass i'm not saying you know you you know like i'm not even talking about racism at all but at the end of the day, if you're just trying to antagonize this guy and you're trying to demoralize this man and, you know, you're putting up childish antics and then you can't even say sorry. Not one time and not one piece of media have I pulled up on Google and they have actually said sorry. What does that say about you as a company? That's the common practice. It, that's becoming common practice today, though. If you think about it, you have companies today that will try to detract 
And they'll do something wrong, but then at the same time, they send out investigators to, to, to squash your claim or to make you seem inhuman. Or less than human, subhuman, whatever it is, at the end of the day, they're going to try and make you whatever. They're, they're just going to try and step on you. Just because they they just because they have money. Well, I'm glad that somebody else bought the company. I I would love to hear that the clowns that were actually in there were pushed out and that they go a different direction. Because I want to say that it was bought by um, pretty much the um, <laughs> the InBev of, uh, of Spain. Um, and so basically it's a, a Spanish brewery conglomerate, um, the, the highest selling uh, beer or lager, Ale, whatever it is over in uh, Spain, has bought Founders, right? Um, so I hope he dis decides to go a different route, get rid of the people that committed these crimes. And um, I guess maybe 20 years from now, I might buy another beer from them. But like I said, I got a few more to go through um, that I... Would just like to just talk about, and like I said, right now this beer uh, is is a really good beer. They've done a good job as usual. Um, I've like I said, I've had a few beers that were just okay, but this one is actually exceptionally well. Um, mouthfeel has a really nice body, um, nice mild carbonation, kind of nice and silky and smooth like a nitro. The flavors kind of linger on your tongue. Decent, it's like it's it's pretty thin though, but it's not a deal breaker for this beer. So at the end of the day, it's not uh, a bad entry, like a, a bad out and by founders at all. Not by far. If I was still drinking founders, would I chase this down? Probably not. Um, not, I mean, you know, if I bought a four pack of this, if I bought a four pack, I could easily drink two and leave the other two. Um, or maybe buy a four pack or two four packs and have one four pack in, in the wing and try it out like you know, later down the line, but I'd, I'd probably try and age it. Um, it's enjoyable. It's easily drinkable. I could have just crushed it just now. Um, it compares um, to the Mountain Brown Brown Ale. Um, it's enjoyable. Um, it's kind of complex. You know, it's got a like I said, you know, it starts out with a ton of chocolate. You get uh, the hazelnut coming in even stronger now. Um, a little vanilla. It's it's actually a pretty decent nail. Um, full flavor, full body. Uh, well, like medium to light body, um, but bolstered by that Java, like that coffee it, that kicks in in the back half, like. The coffee is there. It's like middle mid palate um, on the back end. Um, the beer is superb. It's, it's a good beer. Like I, I mean, like I said, I wouldn't chase it down even if I was drinking Founders. But if I found it and came across it, you know, like I said, grabbed up two four packs and and I straight pound the first one. It's easy. It's an easy drink. Um, like I said, because of the layering, tightly woven flavors. Nice smooth body, um, yo, it's, it's bulletproof. It's a bulletproof beer. Um, could I drink this ever again? No, considering, like I said, um, with with what's what has gone down with founders over the past several years, it's not like it was one in incident. This was several years of torture to to this guy. I don't even know, but at the end of the day. 
if they're willing to treat their workers like that, I, I, like I said, I stopped buying their shit. I went ahead and, and, and traded it for damn near nothing. Um, and at the end of the day, I even stopped going to certain um, bottle shops just because they carry this fucking trash on their shelf. So at the end of the day, I don't feel like I'm going to miss anything because there are a ton of great breweries right now. Um, I mean, if you're going to put this in the class, you have to put it in the same class as like, you know, Dogfish Heads, Indian Brown Ale, which is, is a pretty good, <laughs> it's a pretty good beer, um, like a brown ale. But like Palo Santo Maroon from Dogfish Head, excellent brown ale. Excellent brown ale. Coffee Oki from Prairie Artisan Ales, excellent brown ale. Excellent. And you got the uh, Bravo Imperial Brown from Firestone Walker. I'm really not going to miss anything from Founders. There are a ton of beers out there. <laughs> it's a few I haven't even named. Like, you know, like Anti-Meridium from, from Monday Night. I, I have that. Right? So in a market that's becoming so tight, why would you pick hate over like... Yo, craft beer is love. And at the end of the day, if you pick hate over love, you don't give a fuck about me. You don't give a fuck about your workers. You don't give a fuck about the people that's actually even buying every day. You're just putting out a product and you don't care if we buy it or not. Because if that's how you act on an everyday basis, you don't give a, a flying fuck. So at the end of the day, yeah, I'm done. So your boy is out of here. I might pour it down the drain. I might drink it. Who gives a... F so at the end of the day, I'll talk to you later. I'll go ahead and get rid of the rest of these founders. We'll talk about it. You tell me what you think. You can voice your opinion. You can say what you like. You can say what you don't like. At the end of the day, I don't give a fuck. We talking beer. Cheers, YouTube.